The BeamNG 0.31 update is here, and the devs call it Festive Freight because we've got a remade Gavril T series. We're going to check it out, and I'm going to show you all the other new features. So here it is, the remade Gavril T series. And the first thing to note, we've now got two different body styles. This is called a cab over because basically you sit in the cab above the engine. And this is a normal bonneted or conventional truck like we had before. There are now 29 configs compared to 16 in the old version of the T series. And here we are in the cab over. Doesn't it look beautiful? Look at this blue leather interior and look at the wood on the dash. So it's really, really detailed. A lot of the buttons are actually pressable, and I'll show you what they do a little bit later in the video. So this has a 14.9 litre straight six diesel engine, but how do we look under the hood? Well, you click these grab handles and then the whole cab tips over. There it is. It's a brand new engine to BeamNG, 14.9 litre. I believe it's the only engine available on this truck, but you can customise it a lot. So we're still tipped over and I don't think you should drive the truck like this, but you can. It's totally possible. Okay, let's get her back up. There there you go. Now, the engine sound is just glorious. It sounds so high quality, like nothing I've heard in BeamNG before. I mean, oh, she just sounds glorious. So it drives really well. It feels like a massive vehicle. And look how high up we are. I think the view isn't great here, but I do have to look pretty far over to see the newly improved mirrors. We'll talk about that a bit later. They're so much better. Okay, then let's go for a crash test. And I think we're just going to go straight into this fence, which is completely, whoa, rock solid. Wow, look at that. The whole front has been crushed and the glass is smashed. Yeah, I mean, it's not a massive amount of damage, but this is a, tr a tough old truck. So yeah, I like that. Good J-Beam. Okay, so now we're in the conventional truck and let's hook ourselves up to a Tasty Cola dry van. It's a new trailer added in the update. It's 28 feet long. So they've really improved what's called the fifth wheel. This part here, oh, I haven't lined it up correctly see you've got to line it up perfectly otherwise it won't connect okay that's a bit better there we go we're we gonna hook up yes perfect i love the way the dashboard lights up it's really really retro in here okay brake oh my goodness so the brakes have been simulated really really well we've got air brakes now oh my goodness go 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 yes onto the highway oh this is so much fun beam and g could definitely compete with euro truck and american truck sim now this is one of the best truck simulations I've ever tried out. Now you can open all the doors as usual. How does the, whoa, how does the hood open up on this thing? Oh look, we've got levers here. Okay, so that's one latch. And then the second one, there you go. Opens pretty conventionally for a truck. And just look at that glorious 14.9 liter engine. This is the new variant. It's called the Cargo Box Upfit. We've got the cab over design with a massive box van at the back. Let's have a look inside. Yep, quite a lot of room in there. And on the interior, we've got some cubby holes, nice leather. And the, oh, look at that, a bed back here perfect and it's actually quite detailed back here look we've even got a speaker up here not sure it would be a comfy bed though doesn't look very big okay driving in the wrong direction let's try a crash test oh my goodness wow yeah no damage to us but the other guy in their sherry completely wrecked you can also get flat beds and dump trucks but i want to try the long haul look at this thing okay we've got a manual gearbox and look at the shifter down here oh my goodness we've even got an overdrive in this thing which is this little toggle here on the top of the gear stick okay let's connect up to Oh, a tanker trailer. Oh, missed it. This fifth wheel simulation is actually really realistic. It even has air brake simulation. And when we connect up, the ele electricity and hydraulics should automatically be connected. Come on. Yeah, this view helps. Yeah, it is actually quite difficult to connect up. Oh, come on. Yes! So mirrors have been improved massively, but only for the T-Series. Now, as I move, you can kind of see the view shifts as I'm using my Track IR to look around. That is really realistic. As you can see, it's also much higher quality and seems to run quite well, at least on my PC. I've got a 4070, and yeah, it's running really well. Your truck's engine actually creates hydraulic power. If you pull this lever here, that is now creating hydraulic power from the engine powers. And then I think if you press Shift and T, that now adds to the hydraulics, but if you pull this red button here, the whole thing's going to stop. Oh, and basically that's locked the brakes at the back. Why is this useful? Well, we can toggle the compression brake, which basically uses hydraulic power instead of the regular brakes to slow you down. That means you don't cook the brakes going down a hill like this and then crash into something. It's actually really, really useful. Depends on the gear I think you're in. So if we go to third, oh, that's, oh yeah, over rev, but we are now slowing down faster. Okay, so we've got petroleum on board. Let's do a crash. You know, it handles really well. It doesn't tip over that much. Slow motion into there. Whoa. 
Oh, come to a massive stop. Oh, the whole cab has ripped off and something's exploded, a fuel tank, I think. Wow, look at that. The whole front has fallen off. You can see right through to the engine. This is the long haul special. It's back and we've got the Patriot livery on it as well. A new Eagle on there. I think that's been updated, that livery. Now, the sleeper is beautiful. We've got these kind of, I guess, drawers down here and then a bed. And look, double decker. Oh, yeah, we've got a bed up here as well. Beautiful. Although, why two people would need to sleep in a truck? Not sure. And we're about to drive into the updated port here on Spearleaf Island. The map expansion added in the last update has been improved. And here you can see the port. We've got so many more containers, better, I guess, road directions and a big roundabout here to allow you to drive your truck with a trailer around, improved cranes and generally just more detail. You see a little bit more rubbish around. I do like the in and out here where you've got to do like security checks as you enter and leave. Just across the road, they've updated this cool looking storage area. They've also added a car park under here and I guess underneath the train station here, look, there's like some kind of gravel or dirt path under here you can use to drift around. And see what I mean about the details? It does look good, pretty grimy or like industrial detail. And then unfortunately, they haven't added grass to this part of the map. That's just a BeamNG engine limitation. They've added a Tyrannos fuel station here on Spearleaf Island. This space before was just empty, so it's nice to see they've added this. Near the beach on the main island, they've improved this fuel station here. It's now a Trillobite station, and as you can see, it looks a little bit better. And the signs now actually display dynamic prices. That's going to be useful for the career mode. They've also improved the police station, and it's actually pretty detailed. The exterior's been improved with new textures, and on the interior, we've got a few details like plants and benches and a reception area. You can actually walk around this place, but the coolest feature is underground. Okay, so we're in our Brookle Bastion police car, and let's head into the parking garage. Oh yeah, they've added a fully modeled parking garage which has different levels and we've got locking doors unfortunately they're static I think yeah they are static but I guess they would close in the event of an emergency and then here we go we're going up to the first level of the car park and it's pretty big you could sort of have a kind of car chase in here it's not massive but I do love the detail heading up now Ooh, let's, let's put it in sport mode can we drift Oh my god, it's quite tight. This is the third floor. Are there any more? I think, no, there is one more floor. Oh no, it's not a floor. It's just a way out onto the street. There is actually a completely new location over here by the racetrack. It's called the commercial garage. Basically, it's for storing goods and loading them onto trucks. As you can see, there's things here for loading the trucks up. I guess you'd use a forklift truck. Unfortunately, we don't have one in the game yet, but I do like this area. It's pretty nice. Okay, so back at Spearleaf Marine Logistics, that's the port to you and me. Let's have a look at some of the new trailers. They are the new container trailer where you can fit two 20-foot containers or one 40-foot containers. These are new models. I really like the look of the texture. You can also change, I guess, the branding on the side. This is the frameless dump trailer. It's a 45 square foot trailer that's popular in North America and then the improved trailer dollies now this is important because you can use this to hook up multiple trailers into a land train some trailers do come pre-configured with the fifth wheel at the back so it's pretty easy all you've got to do is just kind of oh, drag it in whoa yeah you can see you've kind of got to drag it very accurately underneath each other there we go yes locked in right then long haul Patriot special let's try and oh get connected whoa yes we did it <laughs> my fps has taken a nosedive but look at this crazy land train okay round in the new roundabout are we gonna fit round here probably come on make it round oh yes here we go oh no are we gonna make it through here um we can now check the mirrors i mean this these new mirrors are so much better for driving trucks with trailers attached yep i think we made it through yeah you need a really powerful truck to haul this mess of a land train. And I don't think in many countries these are even legal. Maybe in Australia and America, but not many other places. Seriously, with a wheel, this just feels incredible. Whoa, what are you doing? Okay. Yeah, and you can just do that, completely wreck people. I mean, look, what is that hanging down? Is that their bumper? Watch out! Oh! Oh my goodness, absolutely no damage. I mean, we've pretty much got a bull bar on the front. Whoa, losing control a little bit. 
Um, whoa, off-road. Oh, dear. They're still all upright. Uh-oh, pressure tank leaking. Wow. So if your tank leaks all the air out, you simply will not be able to brake. Basically, all of the upfits have been updated, except for the cement mixer, which is coming in a future update. And all of the old trailers, the articulated trailers, have also been updated with new skins and new variants. You can also add something called a pintle hitch, which is basically this tiny thing here. And that's more of a traditional way to connect trailers without the fifth wheel. The ram plow has also been updated and look at this thing now. I mean, it is iconic, but even better now. Look at it. Orange wheels, orange paint job and a turbocharged diesel engine with up to 3,000 pound feet of torque. Look, we've also got nitrous in the cab. Okay, let's turn it on. Here we go. Oh, it's smoking, right. Yeah, it's pretty fast. 42 PSI coming from that turbo. Right, here we go. Crash into a Pessima. Oh, they're completely gone. Lansdale, here it is. Whoa. Oh, that's epic. Look at that. I actually think it's tougher than before because it's like a snow plow, right? But this thing hasn't taken any damage. Okay, what happens when we crash into something like this? Oh, whoa. Oh, my goodness. Uh... Yep, Ram Plow is still completely undamaged. BeamNG 0.31 adds new missions on West Coast USA, Automation Test Track, the Industrial Site, Italy, and Utah. Let's try one of them. It's called Gas Runner, and it's here on West Coast USA. Deliver some contaminated fuel to the refinery. Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. Follow the blue navigation markers. Is it this way? Yes, it is. Here we go. Whoa, wobbling around. A lot of fuel back there, which really upsets the balance of this truck. Whoa, I can. you can almost feel it sloshing around. That is so cool. Oh, the mirrors just look great. Look at them. And the lighting in the mirrors also looks good. I think there are there even shadows? Okay. There aren't shadows in the mirrors, but that's fine. Whoa, my, oh, don't want to tip over. Whoa, top speed, over 75 miles per hour. This is crazy. Okay, we're going right or left? Left. We're going left. Brake a bit. There we go. Oh, mind out, mind out. Oh, sorry. I think, no, the mission's still going. Oh, well, look, we're barely damaged. What the heck? Let's try a handbrake turn when we get to the end in a truck. I don't think this is going to go well. Here we go. Brake a bit, and then, oh, we're shaking. Ooh. Lost control. Oh, it's like that scene in Terminator 2. Okay, let's go. Come on. Oh, turning circle for the win. There we go. And then approaching the destination. Look, we've even got the exhaust caps here on the truck. That looks so cool. For some reason, the timer wasn't running, which is a bit weird, but park. Yes, we did it. Oh, that was fun. 0.31 also added this. They are cargo boxes you can fit to pretty much any car. As long as it has the roof bars, but you can also put them inside the, I guess, loading bay of vans and trucks. Now, this thing is the XL. It's pretty big. And this one over here is two smaller ones on top of a covet. You can adjust their weight up to 800 kilos for this one and up to 100 for each on these. Wow, this thing is really top heavy now. And I fit. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, we flipped all the way over. But it's such a cool feature. With some trailers like this one, if you press the O key, you can actually extend the trailer. It basically unlocks it and gives you, I guess, like a third more of the length. The career mode has been updated, but you've got to create a new profile because the old ones simply don't work. So an insurance system has been added. Basically, there's different types of premiums depending on how much you want to pay. And the more you crash, the more your premium goes up. You can customize your policy by changing the time it takes to repair. You can also do apply paint when repairing. I think that paint now fades the more mileage a car has. And you can also do the renewal distance. Like every um, time you pass this amount of mileage, your policy will automatically renew. You can also do roadside assistance and the deductible. This all changes your premium price. Well, this car has 78,000 miles and the paint kind of looks a bit faded. I don't know. I don't think it really does. Maybe a bit less metallic than normal. They've also added a new delivery mode, and I think this is one of them here. Yep, you can now pick up cargo from a lot of different places on the map. Look, deliveries have arrived. Vehicles must have cargo boxes installed to make deliveries. Okay, so that is what the cargo boxes on the roof are for. And this actually looks pretty cool. Look, we do have some space. Look, trunk box A, load. Okay. And look, there they are. Automatically loaded the boxes in the trunk. That's cool. Also in BeamNG 0.3, 
Tree 1. Apparently, the AI has been improved. And let's have a look at the junctions. Yeah, they, they seem to like hesitate less. They're a bit more prepared to do a U-turn if the road is blocked. They do seem a little bit better. Still not perfect. They still drive a little bit slowly sometimes. A small change here. The I key no longer resets your vehicle. You have to press the R key. Or you can press and hold Insert, which then recovers your vehicle along the path you've just driven. I much prefer using that to recover my vehicle and you can also change the binding so don't worry if you really want to go for i they said about seven percent of players use it these days you can change it in the keyboard config menu and this update has seen some performance optimizations especially for vulcan mode which is very very near now to being fully complete and working perfectly the vram usage has now gone down which means people with lower spec pcs can run vulcan now and people with higher spec pcs can run it more smoothly but that's all from the beam engine 0.31 update what did you think of the brand new trucks let me know in the comments below and by the way please help me out by giving this video a like i don't get early access to these um beam and g updates so i've got to try and make them in the first day of release it's pretty difficult but your support does mean everything if you'd like to see some more beam and g where i try out an amazing bus mod that's super high quality click the video on screen right now i think you'll enjoy it thank you so much for watching that's all from me and i'll see you soon for some more simulator adventures